Hello! This video is for everyone that's kind of wondering where the Hearthstone videos are. I know most of you subscribed for that Hearthstone content, and I'm really glad that people liked it, but from here on out, I won't be making any more. I think we gotta go back to the fact that Famous Jake was my third or fourth YouTube channel I tried to start. Back in high school, I had this dream being a YouTuber, I think a lot of kids have that same dream. And I'd stay up late making a new channel with a new name and a logo and everything, and then I would never post a video. I'd, I'd never even make a video. I had this issue pretty bad when I was younger, and I still have it today, where my imagination will run wild and I have all these crazy goals and things I want to accomplish, and then when it gets down to actually doing it, or if there's some sort of barrier in the way, whether it's lack of work ethic or fear of not being able to make it exactly how I envisioned it, I end up just not doing it. Let's move forward to when I actually started Famous Jake. The difference between this channel and all those other attempts is I actually started making stuff. I don't know what prompted me, but uh, you know, I enjoyed Hearthstone. Maybe I saw some other people's content and I was like, hey, I could do this too. So well, I just started making little highlight videos and posting them to Reddit. After a few hits on Reddit, I had a couple thousand subscribers, and I actually had an audience where I could post a video and get feedback regularly. My personal life, things were a bit drab at this point. Uh, by then, I was done with my second year of college. I was going to transfer again to another college, but by then, I really hated school. Throughout high school, I probably had depression, and I was trying to get through it because I fell for this sort of promise that college was going to be the next step in my journey and that it was going to be the answer to all of my problems. But when I actually got to college, it was the same as high school. I didn't enjoy learning in this format anymore, and by the end of my second year, I really did not want to go to school. I was somehow able to convince my parents that I would take a semester off, and this is when I was able to focus on my YouTube channel. The Top Custom Hearthstone card series really took off then. For whatever reason, the YouTube algorithm was picking it up and people were consistently watching it, and basically, I was able to make it a part-time job for the next two years. I've had my handful of shitty jobs, so being able to wake up and set my own schedule, be my own boss, make stuff that I actually want to make, and, and invigorating work that actually has some sort of sense of accomplishment, it was amazing. And I'll be honest, it was a pretty rough time in my life, so having this sort of outlet and having, more importantly, a goal, a dream that I had wanted for a while, and actually in the steps of accomplishing it, it probably brought me out of depression. <laughs> it actually put into reality some of my dreams, which is something that uh, maybe I had done when I was younger, but this was like a, a big boy dream. And I learned a ton from Hearthstone too. Editing, thumbnails, voiceover, uh, script writing, announcing, how to talk to a community, how to serve a community, and uh, you know, what to do when people start copying your most popular series. <laughs> People got mad, I think, when Hearthstone Trump started making, like, top custom Hearthstone cards of the week or whatever. Um, I never really minded too much. I, I just think it was funny. <laughs> Crip was the first to do it anyways, right? I also learned to have some work ethic. Y'all get the point. It was an amazing experience. I, I learned a ton. I grew a bunch. I was basically able to experience what it was like to be a YouTube creator. So, that was awesome. Unfortunately, about a year and a half in, things kind of weren't the same. The best way to describe it is to explain what would happen when I would try to make a video. You know, I'd have an idea, maybe I'd write a script, or maybe I would just film it, and then I would put it into the editing software, and I would just stare at it. After I'd edit the video, I wouldn't even want to watch it again and make sure that I didn't mess up in my edits, and so sometimes I would just post that, and maybe there'd be an issue, maybe there wouldn't be, but I just didn't want to watch it again. And then finally, at one point, I would put the clips into the editing software and then just like maybe do 30 seconds and be like, no, no, I, I can't do this anymore. At first, I just thought, man, I really don't like editing anymore, but it turns out I just didn't like the content. And this really sucks because not only did I really enjoy Hearthstone and making Hearthstone videos at one point, and I had grown an audience making Hearthstone videos, and in fact, I even liked watching other people's Hearthstone videos at one point. I, could, I can remember waking up basically every day when I was starting my YouTube channel and watching Firebat, you know, his daily video. And so, 
not liking this anymore and not enjoying the experience really sucked. And so I'd try to switch it up and play like a different video game or make some sort of different type of video, but all of those videos, they stunk massive poo-poo. And so the situation I was in is the videos that I was good at making, I didn't like anymore. And then the videos that I wanted to make, I wasn't good at making. There's kind of that douchey concept that as a creator, I need to create. <laughs> like, no, bitch, you need food, water, and shelter. You don't actually need to create. But since I have all of those things, if I don't make things, then I just get really sad. Another cliche is that you need something to scratch that creative itch. And that perfectly describes this situation because unfortunately making Hearthstone videos just wasn't doing that anymore. So instead of working really hard and creating something that I liked, uh, I was just working really hard and not getting anything out of it, really. I had to find something new to do, something new to create, so I took a break. And in those three months off, I learned a ton. I, I basically focused on not really creating a whole lot, and it turns out not creating anything can make you depressed. Combine that with new knowledge about self-image, obsession, I lost 30 pounds, I, I learned how to shoot a three-pointer, that was nice. I wanted to come back with a channel with completely new stuff and a backlog of stuff. So I tried making like 20 videos. Uh, only five of them ever actually got rendered and finished out. But the problem with trying to make something new for the first time is you're always going to be terrible at it. <laughs> I was terrible at making Hearthstone videos when I started, but I gave myself enough time to get better and I didn't have an audience that, you know, expected a certain amount of quality, so I was able to put out really bad videos and learn along the way on how to make them better. So making new content meant that it was going to be shitty, which was not very encouraging, but it was a lesson that I had to learn, and probably one that I'm going to forget and I'll have to remind myself again soon. From here into the future, let me tell you the plan. I still need to figure out what kind of content I want to make, so you know what that means shitty videos. I'm gonna take the experience of learning how to make Hearthstone videos and apply it to different types of videos, meaning I'm gonna just continue to make videos and practice a craft in order for the videos to actually get better over time. And for what I want to make, I think my weakest attribute right now is presenting like this in front of the camera. I don't know how people can be so natural in front of the camera. I mean, you're literally staring like into a void, into a lens that you can just like, Bleh. but if I make enough videos, I think I'll figure out how to look into this weird camera. But in addition to YouTube kind of during my break here, I've enjoyed some other creative endeavors. Out of nowhere, I started writing like a graphic novel. Um, I don't know if you can call it a graphic novel because it's technically just words right now and I'm not very good at drawing. But for like two weeks, I just went ham and, and typed out like 40 pages of, of the beginning of a story. I'm probably like a third of the way through it. I'm ready to pick it back up again. It's about like a future VR hitman person that like kills someone in real life instead of in VR and they're like, oh shit. It's been really fun writing an action sci-fi novel that I don't put too much pressure on myself to like innovate or anything. I just want something that's fun to read. But writing this novel is also sharing time with another thing I'm working on, which is none other than a card game. It's pretty silly, isn't it? I got tired of Hearthstone, so I started making my own card game. Actually, you might be surprised to know I still play Hearthstone, you know, a couple times a week, actually. So, you know, it's, it's a great card game. I've just had a really fun time building a card game. And let me just say, it is definitely still just an idea. Like, I've been putting tens of hours into it, and I'm at the point where I need to start actually playtesting it in some sort of way. I've only brushed the surface of starting to learn code with Python, and so maybe I could at some point make some sort of, like, demo with just, like, basic text or whatever. I have no idea how complicated that would be. All of this is a million miles away. I'm just having fun making the design and working on it more. A while ago, I did a live stream, kind of like when I first had the idea, or like the first week I had this idea. I was just bouncing ideas around crazily with chat, and it was actually a lot of fun, but it was all over the place. I can say that maybe the two things that have stayed from that live stream is that the game is about climbing a mountain while the other player also climbs the same mountain, and that there is a monster on top. I'll probably make a video in the future, maybe updating where it's at. I think that's all. I'm feeling better. 
I've been working harder than uh, I have in a while, come, you know, doing school and also making stuff. And some days I still feel like absolute shit, but I think most of the time uh, I'm doing a lot better and I'm pretty optimistic about the future, I'd say. For whatever reason, I find myself having a lot to say recently. I've been starting like a journal, writing stuff as well. Um, it's probably just like a way of venting, and, but I find it therapeutic to, to speak or to write or whatever. I have this negative gut reaction to like sharing because I think in a lot of ways I take it as implying like, oh, this is worth sharing. Like, like my view is, is so good, it's worth sharing out into the world. But I have to realize that the actual process of creating is for myself. It's what makes me uh, feel better. And then anything that I end up sharing or putting out in the world, uh, it, it's just to help other people who want it. Like, might as well have a positive gain and have some people enjoy it. It's weird. It's all pretty weird, but that's fine. I'm still trying to figure stuff out. I'm uh, looking forward to the future, and until next time, ta ta. And just so you know, this video was a bit more deep and whatever, but I think in the future, most videos are going to be a little bit more lighthearted, okay? <laughs> it's not all going to be all like this. I like deep conversations just like anyone, but I also like memeing, so uh, let's meme next video.